I just created the most evil bill that you're probably going to go against in a group setting. This is for PvE, PvP, whatever you want to do with it, it's you. And it's pure madness, I tell you. Notice that we got three skill tiers without even having on technician. Which is insane. So that means if nobody has a skill tier higher, they can't jam you. <laughs> and most of the time, a lot of players are not running skill tiers because they're running all reds or they're running their 1.5 or 1.9 armor Cathars bills. And <laughs> this is pure madness right here. And I'm going to show you. We're using the Lady Death. Now you're probably asking yourself, why you got a Lady Death on this build? This is because I'm going to show you. We have 90k weapon damage, 47% critical hit chance, 118 critical hit damage, and 60% armor damage. But this is the kicker here. We got 70% hazard protection. Now that you see that, <laughs> let's get into the build. We're also using the secondary weapon with Hamas with Sadis because uh, any enemy that's bleeding, we gain 20% extra weapon damage, and why not? If they're bleeding, we also have a Stinger Hive and Riot Foam. Now, we have on Eclipse Protocol, and we're sitting at 1.3. Note that this build is not optimized whatsoever, but when it's fully optimized, I'll probably be sitting at 1.5. I went for the Hazard route because there's a lot of skill builds that are running around. So which means that you can swap out your Stinger Hive to a Jammer and jam the hell out of those skill players you can constantly keep jamming them and if you kill them that jam is going to spread to the next target because that's what eclipse protocol do so combining the three-piece set with the ninja set unlocks the four-piece bonus here indirect transmission your status effect now spreads on kill to all enemies within 10 meters and refreshes 50 percent of the duration you also gain 15 percent status effect 15% skill haste and 30% hazard protection, which is going into that 70% that you guys just saw. Now, the Ninja is a great setup on this particular build, which creates all hybrid dynamics here. Unlocking everything and all the madness. So, the one thing about the survivalist specialization is all about crowd control and group play. And having those three skill tiers is going to benefit me so much, especially my group. And I'm going to show you guys why. We're going to go over here and show you. So... We gain an incendiary grenade. Now with that incendiary grenade, any target that we kill that is on fire will spread that burn to the next target within 10 meters, which is insane. On top of that, also helps out my team. Group members gain 10% bonus damage to targets with status effects. So any target that's underneath a status effect, my group will always have 10% damage. Which is <laughs> On top of that, we also get armor kits now repair over five seconds instead of instantly, but also apply to group members within 20 meters. So if one of my group members and myself loses armor and I pop that kit, the whole entire group gets that kit buff, which means that they can push and I can foam and they can kill and continue pushing and controlling the fight. This is by far the best crowd control build that you will see in PvP and also pve and i am enjoying it you're gonna see clips throughout all this if you didn't know but yo this is the bill right here man it is pure madness i got red the mass is rolled to a red core crit damage crit damage mod of course the gloves are rolled to a blue with crit damage of course the knee pads are rolled to a blue with critical hit chance the holster <laughs> I have on a Picara holster with a skill tier on top of that gaining the 10% skill haste and the plus skill tier with that. So that's two skill tiers, right? The ninjas give me an additional skill tier, of course. So that's three total, which is insane. We're also running a Seska chest plate with Unbreakable to have that extra bit of survivability. Now, by far, you can go with perfect, efficient chest plate. That way you can constantly keep using your armor kits over and over but i went for unbreakable for that extra survivability of course so whenever my armor is depleted repair 95 percent of my armor which allows me to continue to stay in the fight of course we also got 10 percent hazard protection here and then with the, with the seska you get 10 percent critical hit chance and 10 percent extra hazard protection which goes into that hazard protection which is why we're sitting at 70 percent this is the bill right here for you man and it is fun riot foam stinger hive constantly keep pushing constantly keep burning and moving along. So I hope you guys enjoy, man.